Maggie Hetzel here for KSUOwls.com and I'm here at the football offices with Coach Jim and we are in the strength and conditioning room. Now this is the new Kennesaw State strength and conditioning workout room for the football team and we are here just to get a little insight on what has gone in to making this what it is. So how long have you worked here and what are your responsibilities since you've started working here? I've been here for about four, four and a half months and uh, the first part of my employment here has been to build and design the weight room. So being that my responsibility for the football team is training them strength, speed, conditioning, discipline, all aspects of the strength and conditioning industry, um, I needed to create a space that would allow me to do that. And what was great is I had great support from Coach Bohannon and the football staff and administration to kind of have a, had a blank slate. I had an, an empty room and I was able to fill it with whatever I wanted. So the first, four, the first four months that I've been here really has been spent designing, imagining, designing, and ordering equipment to fill this room. Okay, and what exactly was your vision? Walking in here, seeing a blank floor and uh, blank walls, what was your vision? What did you really want to show and the football team to see every day when they come in here to work out? Well, first of all, it's, it's a dream come true for, for a strength coach to be able to build their own room. And um, I was able to do it as I wanted to as would fit my program. So what I wanted to create was, I obviously wanted to create a room that we were all gonna be proud of. I wanted it to be top notch, first class, top of the line, everything brand new, and I wanted people to walk in and have there be a certain wow factor. So that was a part of what we were doing. But I also needed to create a, a, a place that was going to be as efficient as possible and allow us to get a lot of work done in a short amount of time. Like I tell all the recruits and the student athletes when they come in here, their time is split between so many things. They have. They have class, they have study hall, they have treatments, they have practice, they have film. So when they come in here, I'm trying to get them in and out of here in under an hour. Yeah. So I needed to create a space with enough equipment to enable us to get all the work that we need to get done and get it done in a centralized location. So um, my vision was to create a wow factor, a new place that had everything that we needed to get all the work that we needed to get done, done in under an hour. Okay. And when you were developing this room and you were thinking about what workouts you wanted to do, what really came into play with that? Was it more agility? Was it more weights? What did you really focus on getting in here for the football team? Well, being in the situation that we're in where we have so many practice fields mm -hmm. and we're in the south where there's sunshine all year long, <laughs> I'm not worried so much about having a ton of space for running. Okay. I wanted to create a place where we could come in here and get bigger, faster, stronger, more explosive. Yes. When we're gonna do the majority of our running and our conditioning, we'll do that outside. We'll do that in, in, the, in the turf room that we have next to us. But the most important part about the room that we're sitting in right now was having enough equipment to get strong. So I need to make sure that I had platforms to perform Olympic lifts. I need to have, make sure I had enough solid barbells, benches, plates, the dumbbells, kettlebells, medicine balls, all the things that we needed in order to build the strong body and keep it injury free, that's what I needed to bring in here. So we got 15 racks for 15 different workstations and every rack has barbell plates, bench, pull-up bar, TRX, um, it has kettlebells, it has medicine balls, it has everything that we're gonna need to do our training right there, right in this room. Okay, just how excited are you for oh, all God. this to come in today? <laughs> well, I've been working on this for, again, about four, four and a half months and so, as a strength coach to work for four and a half months without having a weight room, that's <laughs> awful. That's like soul sucking. So I wanted to, you know, I'm so excited to have things come in here that I can actually, you know, now take ownership of and take pride in and see all of my work come to and, and see it all here. So when people come in here, they can have that wow factor. They can see it not as a vision, but as a reality. Mm -hmm. And so I am so excited. I'm fired up for all the stuff <laughs> that come in. Now, when you were ordering all this equipment and how many players do y'all have exactly? We're going to have um, upwards of 100 players for the first year and in the future up to 120. Okay, so to stick 120 players in this room, how much equipment did you really have to order? Well, we're never going to train the entire football team at once. Okay. Okay, that wouldn't be safe in terms of the type of coaching <laughs> they would get. But I wanted to create a space where we could get 60 kids in here and get them trained in an hour. Okay. So having 15 stations and being able to put four kids to a station at a time will enable us to train 60 kids at once and get the entire team trained in two hours. So in terms of equipment, I need to make sure that every station had all of the same stuff. Okay. So every station is going to have the ability to put 405 pounds in the bar. Every station is going to have a bench. It's going to have its own bar. It's going to have three kettlebells. It's going to have three medicine balls. It's going to have a TRX strap. And it's also going to have a power block, which is an adjustable dumbbell. 
so we don't have to waste time running across the room to do our dumbbell work. They'll be able to do it right here locally on their station, so they never have to leave that station throughout the entire time they're left. So in terms of poundage, I'm not sure what we actually brought in here, but there is enough weights and enough equipment on every rack where the kid never has to leave. So what you're saying is if I ever need something moved in my dorm to call one of your football players? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Okay, and so now everyone's dying to know, when is this football program really going to start? When are these kids going to get in here and really get a hold of all these new weights and these new benches and everything you're saying is going to go in here? Well, the kids are going to arrive on campus when, when classes start. Okay. Because we're not competing this year, we're bringing them in when school starts. Okay. So they'll get here August 15th, and for the first couple of days, they'll go through their orientation, they'll go through their equipment fitting, they'll go through their compliance direction, all the stuff that they need in terms of an administrative standpoint and an organizational standpoint. Okay. And then after those few days, then we're going to spend two weeks on the field just running. So not knowing what these kids have done over the summer, we need to do our best to make sure that they're in shape so they can go on the field and practice effectively when we start practice. So for two weeks, they'll be on campus, but all we're going to do is run. Now the coaches will have all their hands on them a little bit towards the end of the practice to do some install work, mm -hmm. but there's not going to be any lifting until I believe September 2nd. Okay. And then they're all going to get in here, we'll do it in two groups, and we'll start to introduce how we operate in the, in the weight room and how we live to our standard and the way that we're going to do things in here. Well, they must be so excited to get in here in a state-of-the-art weight room that you've developed. And thank you so much for talking with us today. I know everyone is so excited for the Kennesaw State football program, and we will have more in the weight room once it's completely done. Thanks for watching.